Wendy grows grapes for a prestigious California winery. In the spring, she doesn't need many workers to prune the vineyards. But last year, during the autumn harvest, she was six people short. To attract workers, she pays a higher than minimum wage of 9.15 an hour, but that's no longer enough. We used to have people show up that we could even turn away because we didn't have enough work for them. That is not the problem now. Now we are having to go out and actively try to recruit people. Farmers across America face a massive lack of manpower. According to official estimates, about half of their agricultural workforce is undocumented, the majority from Mexico. But tighter border controls and stepped-up deportations by the U.S. government have conspired to keep farmhands away. The agricultural industry is lobbying for immigration reform, one that would offer more numerous, more flexible seasonal visas that would get people working fast. A visa program that allows foreign workers to come here legally, to work in agriculture, to return back to their home countries, and not have it be a bureaucratic nightmare, which we have experienced with some of the current visa programs that really don't mimic the, the natural flow of agricultural harvesting seasons. Sergio Guzman arrived here from Mexico in 1996 to work in the fields. Since then, he's fought for farm workers' rights. For his United Farm Workers Union, yet another guest worker visa program is not the solution. If we allow this country to, to just to bring uh, farm workers, that are going to decrease wages and, and protection for farm workers. This country needs to provide to those persons who's contributing to the economy to, to have the same, the same rights. As advocates like Sergio point out, there are already 11 and a half million undocumented migrants in the U.S., and reform efforts should focus on helping them to forge a legal path to both work and American citizenship.